there are two types of inflammation. Now one is good and the other is not so good. Today, I'm going to leave you with the two types of inflammation and four simple ways you can naturally reduce it. So you've probably heard that inflammation can have a negative impact on your health. It's sometimes known as the silent killer and it has a bad reputation, but inflammation is not necessarily a bad thing if you're injured or if you're over exercising and you want the body to go rush to that area to create healing. It's actually protecting your body, but the other type, not so good. This is chronic inflammation, and this comes as a result of too much stress on your body and the wrong conditions at the wrong time. So if you've had inflammation, then you probably have a lot of the symptoms that come along with it. It's not limited to these, but sometimes we experience digestive issues like constipation, bloating, and irritable bowel, chronic fatigue, headaches, brain fog from a neurological standpoint, and even anxiety, depression, and then there's the chronic conditions like a sluggish thyroid or autoimmune type conditions. So you can see that inflammation really plays a big role in the body. What do we need to do to reduce it though? Well, I love focusing on whole food nutrition. You're going to want to toss out a lot of the packaged foods, all those things that are filled with gluten, dairy, sugar, non-food ingredients, and even hydrogenated and vegetable oils. Those are some of the most inflammatory foods that you can eat. And then you're going to want to include nutrient dense foods, things like pasture raised meats, wild caught fish, organic fruits and vegetables. Fill your plate with lots of color. A lot of those colorful foods are full of anti-inflammatories, things like oranges, red bell peppers, kiwi, avocado, blueberries, blackberries, acai. Those are great sources as well. And then you want to add in herbs and spices to your meals. So you have all of the anti-inflammatory food removes, you have antioxidants from all this color, but adding additional antioxidants in the form of spices can really help boost your cellular energy. What that's going to do for you is give you more physical energy. It's going to make you feel stronger in your body, improve your mind and the way that your brain works. And all you have to do is include a few spices like turmeric, cinnamon, cloves, cacao, and oregano. Those are a few of my favorites. The third thing you want to do is make sleep a priority. You want to aim for a 10 p.m. bedtime. Your body runs on a circadian rhythm around the sun. So you're going to release your melatonin starting about 10 p.m. And then your liver and organ repair starts shortly after. The first part of the night is responsible for your deep sleep. So that's what really helps you feel most rested when you wake up. So you want to make sure you take advantage of that early bedtime. And then the last four hours is really when your mental and emotional aspects of healing start to catch up. So you want to make sure that you're getting your full eight hours and you can create a solid sleep routine. This is really going to help you set yourself up for success before your head even hits the pillow. So those are things like um, decreasing your overhead lighting. You might want to use some soft lamps to help. You want to mimic the sun when it comes to your lighting and turn off your technology. Yes, your computers, your cell phones, all of your devices about one to two hours before bed because that artificial light can disrupt your circadian rhythms and it disrupts your sleep patterns. And then of course we have these emotional aspects that keep us up, up as well. So you might want to take a few minutes to just jot down a few things before bed. Maybe you choose to write down the things you're grateful for. That's going to help you wake up in a more joyful state. Or if you're the type that has tomorrow's to-do list running through your head, you might want to keep a notepad next to your bed so that you can write everything down. And I promise you it's going to be there when you wake up in the morning. The last thing I want to talk to you about is getting outside and moving your body. So we know that sunlight can help provide us with a little bit of vitamin D activation, but it also resets your circadian rhythm when you're getting outside, especially early in the morning. So I love starting the day with about 20 minutes of fresh air outside sunlight on the skin. You could either go for a walk or if you like outdoor activities, you can go hiking, swimming, kayaking, and if weather is not permitting, then grab a few plants, put them in your house, grab your yoga mat, maybe a sunlight and stretch out for about 20 minutes. Think about nature and how it has its own immune system. You can be outside for 
just a few hours and you can boost your own immune system for up to 30 days. This is also linked to stress reduction, which reduces overall inflammation in your body. It reduces pain, improves your mood, increases your energy, and it's going to have a great overall impact on your health. So before you pop another anti-inflammatory pill, I want you to give these a try. Now, this is not an overnight fix, I know, but over time, you're going to see inflammation decreasing in your body. And if you're looking for a straightforward approach to improving these chronic conditions, if you already have things like thyroid disease or rheumatoid arthritis or inflammatory bowel disease, maybe you have a little extra spare tire around your waist, digestive issues, then research shows that working to decrease inflammation in the body is a great way to help you improve the overall quality of your life. Hey, and if you're looking for a personalized plan to help you address your overall symptoms in a more natural way, that's exactly what I do. Check out my services in the link around this in the comments.